guys, it's TJ Granny here. Um, somewhere along the trail, we've met, we've shaken hands, or maybe you shook hands with Rick McGee, prior coronavirus, obviously. Um, or maybe you went to our website looking for information on the Kids Outdoor Zone. And I wanted to send this, uh, invite you to this KOZ TV broadcast. I'm on the back of the ranch doing a little turkey hunting on the downtime here. Actually, I'm not doing any hunting because there's nothing happening. It's super quiet. Heard something really, really early, but that was it. But, um, you know, it's, it's kind of a reminder, and I know you guys have got great pastors who've just been, pre man, our pastors have been just preaching it up, getting after it, just killing it, just doing so well, and just helping us to stay focused on what this is, what this time is, what to do now, um, biblical uh, references to, you know, what's going on in this day and age, and um, and so I'm not going to go there with you. That's that's your pastor's job to have that conversation with you. But if you've come across KOZ somewhere and you've uh, gotten some of our emails, some of our stuff. You know what we do, and uh, and and I think this this example of just being out here in the woods, being out here in the turkey blind, just hanging out, calling some turkeys, being on the ranch, listening to the birds, sun coming up. Um, I really hear God here. I hear Him speak, man. It's just like a, His voice is so loud here. And I know that's what, that it's that way for a lot of you guys too, um, whether it's on a fishing boat or hiking or um, maybe riding your tractor, plowing, doing something there. But uh, boy, the my heart just aches for the boys out there, the boys that don't know about that, that that don't know about God's voice. They're stuck inside. They're they're going through this pandemic thing that confuses them. They're stuck doing video games and and uh, and just the internet just pouring into them. It's just man, Satan just seeps out of the pores of the internet and goes after our boys. And I just it breaks my heart thinking about those boys and. My wife always said, you know, it'd be terrible if we ever had a farm with a big barn because you'd convert it into a bunk room and you'd grab every boy you could get your hands on and have him out there uh, at the ranch or at the farm just working, hanging out, hunting and fishing and learning about God and and how he speaks to us. And, and we're losing our boys. And I just really, if you've, if you've had any time to think about what you want to do this fall what you want to do as soon as this thing breaks i hope you're thinking about doing a koz group i hope you're thinking about starting something that uh, doing something to to be a part of the mission god's mission here and um, and i want to make sure that we we make that as easy for you as possible and um, you know, to, to start a KOZ group, all you got to do is go to the website, sign your church up, uh, and then watch the videos with your guys. Um, it's really, really easy. And then you just take one Saturday morning a month and you, and you grab some boys and you, man, you take them to the farm, you take them to the park. It doesn't have to be fancy. We give you all the stuff. We give you ideas. We give you curriculum. We give you ideas of what to have, what kind of conversation to have with them. And, um, we really take take a lot of time to make sure we give you really easy stuff to use, so you can be successful in it. And uh, man, there's there's nothing more important than rescuing our boys. If you've got daughters, it's going to be the the young men who ask your daughter to marry them. If you got grandkids, it's your grand boy, it's your grandsons, it's your granddaughters. Um, we need to train those boys. 
if you love farming and ranching and hunting and fishing, man, we got to get that next generation doing it because they're not. And uh, maybe not your, maybe yours are, but so many aren't. And um, anyway, I just wanted to take a few minutes to just encourage you that if you're, if you've got time to talk to Jesus right now, while we're all shut down, while we're all kind of having to find quiet places, I just. I would just return to that conversation that got you to sign that card or to fill out that that little pop-up online that said, you know, I want more information on KOZ. And just ask Jesus, Jesus, do you really want me to do that? Are you, are you bringing me back around to that place in my heart that I felt that day I um, signed up for that or that day I signed that card? And if that's true, send us an email let us know. We want to help you get started. If it's a money issue, don't let it be. We'll help you with that. We'll take care of that. Um, we just want to give you something that you can sink your teeth into for Jesus. And we want to go get those boys. There's so many boys out there that are, man, they live next door to you. They live down the street and they got nothing. They got nothing. And, uh, and we're the guys who are supposed to go get them. So let us know how we can help. God bless you guys. Man, we're, we're in prayer for every one of you guys that gets this email. We're praying for you that your family's taken care of, that you're taken care of, that you guys make it through this all right. And we come out the other side of it stronger for Jesus. So let's go rescue some boys. Love you. Take care of your families. God bless. Regulators, mount up.